All right, so let's get started with the cornbread. Um, my cornbread, the, you better not be on a diet for this when I tell you. All right, so that's a half a stick and a hole. So that's a stick and a half of butter, real butter in my cornbread. So stick and a half of butter. Um, a lot of people like to use bacon fat, but I have absolutely nothing else that I can cook that needs bacon right now. So um, we're gonna do this um, stick and a half of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven, let it heat through, let it kind of season the pan. Um, but anyway, I want that butter to get good and hot. It may even get a little bit brown. Uh, if it does, it'll be just perfect. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven. Okay, so with this cornbread, oh hey, first of all, don't laugh at my bowl. This bowl has been around forever. And the funny thing is, this bowl is only for mixing cornbread. It's crazy. I know everybody has their pet peeves and their, their things they do and they use, but this one is strictly for cornbread. So anyway, um, my cornbread, the only thing I measure pretty much is my uh, flour and meal, and cornmeal, I mean. Okay, so my flour is going to be um, about a cup and a half, and the meal is going to be about a cup. Um, I pretty much do almost half of what I do. Um, my cornmeal is pretty much almost half of my flour. What I just put in there was bacon powder just a little bit of bacon powder and i'm gonna add just a dash of salt to that just a dash now my cornbread is normally sweet not too sweet but it's normally a little sweet so the sugar i don't measure um i can tell you that it might be about a half a cup but I also add a little bit of honey to my cornbread. Um, let me get my egg and my milk. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but I think I just dropped something, but oh well. So anyway, my milk, again, I do not measure. I start off um, pouring, pouring just a little. Once I pour just a little, I'll go ahead and, you know, mix it. And once it's mixed, if it looks like it needs more, I'll add more. Um, but let's see. And as you can tell, this is going to need more milk so let's add more milk again normally I measure when I'm baking but with cornbread I've been doing it so long this is the way I do it every single time bit thick so I'll add just a little more so we're gonna say it's about a cup it's probably about a cup of milk that I'm adding you may have a different recipe for your cornbread but this is the one that I've been doing and again it's not even a recipe it's just mixed together pretty much like I said, the only thing that I measure is my uh, flour and cornmeal. It's a workout. All right, so that's about what we want right there. And I'm 
only gonna add one egg to this. So one egg is all I'm going to add. And we're going to mix this up. Again, the skillet is still preheating and melting that butter in the oven. You guys may hear my kids running around the house. I'll get them here in a minute. When I tell y'all this will work out, it's working me over. And this coming from the chick with a little bit of arthritis. This ain't this ain't that. My little hands and thumbs getting tired. But anyway. I got my cornbread to the consistency I wanted it. So the last thing I need to add to my cornbread is good old honey. It just gives it a little bit of an extra kick. Um, doesn't take a whole lot. Honey is really sweet. Have to catch that. But the honey flavor in your cornbread, oh my God. You don't even understand. So. Let me go ahead and mix this in, and we'll go ahead and check the skillet in the oven. Take that on out, and I'll show you what to do with that butter next. All right, so I have went ahead and took my butter out of the oven, my hot skillet. I took and poured most of the butter into my batter. Once I poured it into the batter, I thought I was recording, so that's why I'm going back over this. So once I thought, once I poured it uh, into the batter, I went ahead and mixed it up. I left some inside the skillet. And what you want to see is this rise where it starts cooking right there. That's what you want to start seeing. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into the oven. Um, I think I have it about 350 right now. Again, I don't know how long. I just take a look at it. I smell it once it's golden brown and it starts rising. Um, I know it's ready. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven right now at 350. And we'll see it when it comes out. All right, so the cornbread is coming out. Y'all, y'all got to see this. I look query. <laughs> golden brown. Golden all right when i tell you this is a perfect cornbread the butter has set in go and made butter trenches is what i call it it's nothing more nothing less but butter trenches even got butter that's set up over there and the honey gives you just a little bit of crunch around the edges this is cornbread here. This is what you want your cornbread to look like. We'll cut it in just a second. <laughs> 